is known as the Hawks Nest. That scoreboard right now is being lit up. The offense back on the field here for this fourth and four. The final quarter begins with this snap. Doug Baldwin makes the catch. I don't know if I agree with that call going for it on fourth down here in the second half when you got a little lead, but the coach is confident. They go for it on fourth down, they pick it up, and that keeps the drive going. Set up now at the 39 yard line. That was a big gainer. Now it's time to pack it up. Ball is out. The offense was able to recover the ball. Nice job by the offense that time, even though they fumbled the football quick enough and smart enough to get on it right away. The Seahawks defense now is going to go nickel to the ground. Lanes all over the ball carrier. When you're going against a defense that is fast, sometimes you can fool them with the counter run, but they're so good, so athletic, they can adjust, and they still get in there and make the play before you gain any yards. Jackson's lined up now as the running back behind the quarterback. Almost intercepted. That was a good call by the defensive coordinator. He called the right defensive play. The defender's in position and knocks down that third down throw. Needing five to move the chains. The Seahawks have it at the 34. And Daniels is on the move. The Seahawks turn the ball over on downs. The Seahawks retake the field on offense. They just piled up the yardage the last time they had it, but walked away with only three. Yeah, but you got to feel good about it. They, they had a long march. They did a lot of good things on the offensive side. The offensive line performed well. And to march the football that far and kick a field goal, you got to feel good about it. Pulls it in. That's reception number two for him. The Seahawks, good job that time moving the chains, picking up that first down. And Jim, of course, there's no time to panic in a situation like this. I think they know that. It's in the second half. You got your you're down just a few points. Just keep looking for ways to get another first down, and that'll serve your team well. Games 17. There has been good pass protection for the quarterback all day long. He has not been sacked much, and he throws it there and gets another completion. Breaking huddle at the 21. Time is running out. The defense knows it's playing with the lead, but doing whatever it can to just try to run out the clock. Luke Wilson has the catch. The old-fashioned way of picking up big yardage is running the fly route on the outside. Show the speed of the receiver and the strength of the quarterback's arm. What a nice completion. Two minutes to go before this one's in the books. Now on first down, every snap crucial the rest of the way. Just about Let's two go. minutes to go, and the defense knows it needs to make one last stop to end it. First and goal to go. Force it across for the touchdown. What a way to finish off that two-minute drill by scoring on the ground, but there's still plenty of time left this game as far from over. There he is. Nice play call. Running that football in. That caught the defense by surprise. And then the other team, hey, the other team, they've been working on their two-minute offense also. This is going to be an exciting finish. Coleman has got it on the handle. So put down a touchdown and a two-point conversion on that occasion. Yeah, good job by the offense. He executed the play perfectly. And he got it in the end zone, like you said. He got that two points.
it out to about the 27 before he's taken down. First down, pressure on every snap now. For this play, they'll go with two tight ends. And Daniels is going to scramble. Clutch catch. The Seahawks did a good job that time picking up the first down. Let's look at the situation. You're behind in the second half. You keep looking to pick up those first downs, and you know you get enough of them. What does it do? Pretty simple. It leads to a score. And Daniels, his completion percentage, 50% on the day. That's five receptions on the day. Well, the Dink and Duck quarterbacks, they love to see cover three because they know they're going to drop back and just throw the short passes underneath. Good job by the quarterback taking advantage of this defense. The Seahawks defense brings in an extra member of the secondary. They'll go nickel. Wilson with the reception. Jim Nance, that was the old fly route. When we were kids, that's what they called it. See if you can fly by the defensive back. He did that time. Nice throw and catch. Now on first down, every snap crucial the rest of the way. No margin for error from just outside the goal line. Got to give the defense some credit on first down. There's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped it. Every play is huge now. Second down on the way. Second and goal from the six. And he'll hand it off to touchdown as we near the end of this one. They're able to punch it across for the apparent tying touchdown here in the final two minutes. Yeah, it's nice to have an offensive line. It's tough and, and powerful. So when you get in these situations, you don't have to trick the defense. You just line up and run it over. Takes it again. Hey, I like to play. Really creative thought process there. And the offense caught the defense by a surprise. Ooh, that's a huge two-point conversion. Baldwin's going to start his return. And he's tackled right at the 30-yard line after that return. The Seahawks offense takes the field and they are absolutely in desperate need of a big time drive here to put points on the board. The one thing we do know since you are behind the defense most likely is going to be very conservative the first couple calls. So make sure you have play calls to take advantage of the fact that they're going to be very conservative on the defensive side. Pulls it in. That's his first reception today. Another name for the fly route the go route. It's a streak. And that means they want you to be a blue streak, run as fast as you can, get by that defense, and make a big play. Jackson's now completed four in a row. Wilson's got it. First down. The Seahawks with no timeouts left. down pressure on every snap now Let's go. Let's now first and ten Wilson's gonna pull in the bullet pass taken down and the clock continues to be their enemy right now I think what you find out about your offensive lineman what kind of shape they're in you it's it's late in the game. You have no timeouts. You got to go to this hurry up offense. Let's see if they can make it work. Textbook execution by the offense. They kill the clock on the spike. 
And now they have enough time to bring the field goal unit out for the win. These teams work in this situation so much all during the offseason, training camp, and during the season almost every single day. So to execute it in the game perfectly, man, that's satisfying. I can only imagine how powerless the feeling must be when you've led the team down the field and now you turn it over to a kicker to decide the game. Well, you've been around that kicker all year long. You've watched him in practice. His locker is right next to you. Uh, so you have confidence that he can get it done in a big moment like this, and he did. Phil Sims and all the crew, Jim Nance saying so long.